What's going on, people? This is a follow-up video of something I did a few years ago. 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 25 ways to make money without a job. I wrote it down to keep it organized, to keep it straight, to keep it quick, to keep it tight, so you can go out and make some money. Snapchat. It's like, I know you're going, what? Whenever a new platform comes out, you want to jump on it as quick as possible, learn everything that you can, and make that money. Because if you're an early adapter, you get yourself some fame, advertisers, promoters, sponsors, opportunities will come to you. Uber! Yeah, Uber. It's, hey, it's a way to make some great quick cash quick. If you don't have anything else to do, you don't have anything else going, Uber's a great way to make some money without a job. Airbnb. I want to get into this for a little deeper than the rest. Had a client, right, was talking to me about some kind of other business. And one of the things I like to do with my clients is go through personal inventory. What do you do? What do you have going on? And it's like, oh yeah, I got 10 houses. I inherited them. Oh yeah, up in the Ozarks. What? So we go ahead and put together a plan, trick him out and everything. He's making more money renting out those houses in the Ozark than he was from his funky business. Needless to say, he no longer has the funky business. Airbnb is the shit, believe me. Instagram, follow up like with uh, Snapchat. If you get on the, the platform really, really quick, you can make some cash by developing your follows. I think, uh, I can't think of his name, something Jewish. The happy Jewish, the sweet Jewish, something like that. He's got this, he gets a lot of opportunity. He's on television shows. I mean, he's everywhere. Instagram is a way to make some money, but you've got to have personality. Vine, short little clips. People are doing movies. Some of the top stars on Vines are getting 10, 20, 10 to 10000 to $20,000 a pop to make a little six-second video. You can make some money. YouTube, <sighs> enough said. Reddit. I quickly, I recently interviewed Anthony, the creator of Bullet Bouquet, and go to Reddit, start going through the, the Reddits, the subreddits, and you can find inspiration, you can find ideals, you can find help, you can find customers. Create a service business. If you have no money, but you got time, effort, and energy and enthusiasm, make that service business happen. Design a product. What do we talk about here at the Hustler Mindset Project? Creating, making stuff. Hold a Kickstarter print campaign. Can be for a product, can be for a cause, can be for a movie. So many things that can happen. Website traffic generator. Let's uh, put a little bit more into this. If you have the ability to bring a lot of traffic to a website, that is a very valuable skill. If you can teach yourself how to generate traffic, you can make Bank. Write a solution book. Not just any book, but a book that solves a problem. Bank, bank, bank. Create a Tumblr page. Some I'm getting ready to do. Talk to a lot of people. I have clients, friends, and customers who make sales off Tumblr. Tumblr's a very hot spot. A lot of people don't really talk about it. Most of it's a demographic issue, but get your ass over there. Flipping guns. Recently, I started taking guns as payment, and then I started flipping some guns, and I've actually flipped a few for more than what I got them for. What? Social media manager. I have a few friends who own businesses, and they hate social media. So they hire someone to the tune of $500 to $1,000 a month to tweet, to Facebook, and to blog for them. For real, though. Stand in line for people. Go on Craigslist gigs. I'll stand in line for your concert tickets. I'll stand in line for this. There are people making bank just sitting around like, I stand in line for a living. It could be you. <laughs> this is something that came a while ago. Cuddle services. People are so starved for attention that you can, there are people who are making bank. Oh, baby. Yeah. You want, me, you want mama to rub your back? Uh-huh. $80. Yeah. For real, it happens. It's a legitimate business and centers are opening up all over America. Yes, boyfriend, girlfriend. I'm going to tell you what happened to me. I know I don't look like it, 
but I clean up pretty nice and I look good in the tux. And I had a few people that's like, hey, G, could you attend such and such with me when I used to do that thing before I became a rough neck? And uh, I got some stuff for it. And no, it wasn't sex. Same thing for fake-ass girlfriend. Create paid meetup groups. You pick a niche, a topic, some that you do well, and you conduct training. Have the first few for free, and then you're like, hey, for the next better training, you got you to gotta come out that wallet. Man or woman Friday. Personal servant. People need so much help that I have two friends who have... Um, I guess, you know, fake-ass husbands and fake-ass wives that do everything for them, and they make a pretty penny. If you're a busy entrepreneur or a busy person, having someone to do the groceries, do the laundry, do errands, <laughs> go get your phone fixed, pick up your phone, that stuff could be critical. Put on events. You can, like, say you know some guys with comedians. You can say, okay, this is the first comics meetup. Put on your event, sell tickets. You pay them, you get half, and everybody's happy. Start a podcast. I'm telling you. Podcast, YouTube. Uh, Instagram, Tumblr, these things are platforms that can make you money if you are ambitious, bright-eyed, and bushy-tailed. Become a coach. If you have some kind of skill that you do really well and others don't, you can make money off that. Trust me. Bankity bank bank. Personal organizer. You can make crazy money if you're highly skilled in organizing stuff. You can do a lot of job and turn into a career. Efficiency ninja. If you're a person that's extremely efficient, well put together, very polished and professional, that's a skill you can outsource and make money with. Now that's the list. And what I'm doing is giving you food for thought. What I'm saying is take that information and let it run through your brain, and tomorrow, try some of it. See if you like it. See if you can make it happen. See if you can do something with it, because there is money out there with your name on it. It has your name on it. If your name is Sam, there's some money out there that's got Sam right on this ass. Like, bam, see, Sam. This is Sam's cash. You can get it if you are bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, full of energy and enthusiasm. You can make it happen. Be sure to get your free books, 10 Essential Steps to Hustling, and the business book about storage auctions and so many other things. All right, I'll see you in the next session.